Hello everyone, um, this is Alejandra Gomez and so anyway I just wanted to share how to do watercoloring. I know that um, last time I think I did also watercolor and so I figured let's do another one about that. This time I am um, doing using this um, stamp set and it is named A Little Wild and I'm using this little bear. And I'm just loving it, to be honest, because you get the front part and the back side, and you can fold it, and then you get a nice tag. Um, I'm going to show you some others that I've already done. I'm going to be doing the bear, but like this one, right? You have the lion, and you get the front and back, and you can actually do a tag. And actually, you have a little hole here, so you can actually hang it on your gifts. I'm using this one for cards, and I'm going to show you like what it's looking say um say like this one right so you have your card and when you open it you see the back so this is why i'm doing i am cutting the hole for the tags so anyway um let me just show you another one this little elephant i feel like it's beautiful um but um so i cut an extra of this little bear and i'm gonna and that's the one that i'm gonna be doing so anyhow, so I am I don't want to waste too much time, but here is the bear and then you die cut it with the framelits and this one is named Little Ones Framelits. And so once you do that, you have the little bear like this one. Um Okay. So All right. So, and I'm using, um, in this case, I'm going to be using soft suede, and I'm using also blushing bride. So let's just go with that. And oh, I forgot. So you usually just squeeze, and you'll have the ink here. And I'm also going to be using the aqua painter and just a scrap of a paper towel. So anyway, so it is important that you do this on the watercolor paper, and it's a little bit thicker. It comes, the stamping up ones comes in sheets like this, and um, I believe it comes with five of those, and so you can get a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, of these little guys. So anyway, so now I'm going to be taking a little bit of the ink here, and you squish a little bit so you had a little bit of water. And um, let's start first with this one. So you can tell how you go. And I'm trying to go from where I want to go darker to where I want it to go lighter. Okay. So let's just go that way. And of course, you have heard me in the past from the YouTube videos. It's really hard for me to talk and color so anyway let's give it a try and the beauty of the watercolor paper if it is too dark you can always just put or do a little bit more of water and it will remove also the color so obviously you always want to go from going clearer or yeah clearer to darker rather than go from darker and so, like so, like see how, like in this case, I am removing a little bit because I feel like now it's too dark. Okay. And so now I'm going to be doing its face from the back. And you can tell here. All right. So another one here. There you go. And um, so that's how we do the watercoloring. So I really wanted to share this with you because I feel like sometimes um, people get intimidated with the coloring and you can tell it's really easy. If I can do it, anyone can do it. I'm not really that um, artistic, you know. And, and like I said, I always try to go from darker to the lighter and that's really the big thing tip if you if you 
thing, like there is a tip or something, like something special that I do. I usually just go from where I want to go, or when I want it to be darker, to where I want it to be lighter. And that's pretty much it. So, okay. Now, now that I have its back, and see, I feel like um, its ear is probably a little bit not too color, so it has not so much color. It was too light. So I can always go back and add a little bit more. And the same thing with um, with uh, here. I feel like usually there might be more color here, don't you think? So let's just add a little bit more of color. And there you go. Okay, and um, so now I'm going to be doing the front of the bear and the same thing here. Now I'm going to be very careful to not, to not um, color the bee because I want the bee to be colored differently. So you have to be careful in going around the bee. Okay, so... There you go. Here it is. And the same as before, I'm going to go from what I think there's going to be more color to where I feel there might be less. There we go. Okay. And like I said, it's really easy to use the watercolor with the aqua painter brush and Stampin' Up! has um, the aqua the aqua painters I think they I believe they come in two in a pack um, I really use them a lot especially for when I'm doing the coloring um, even if I don't use watercolor obviously when you use watercolor paper you really get the best look of everything but I've also used it with non uh, watercolor paper and it still looks stunning so um, anyway, it's just that the whole shading looks way better when you use the watercolor. So anyway, so you can tell how it goes. And then let's do his face. And, okay. Okay, so let's just do the face. And I feel like I'm missing water. So I'm just, you just squish a little bit here and you get more water. All right. And then if it is too much water, then of course you can use your towel, the pepper towel to take away some of that water. Like right now, I feel like there is too much water. Um, so you can always just tap a little bit and there you go. That way you can go back and add more. Like I said, it's very simple. You can put or you can add or take away color using the watercolor paper. Um, all right. So now let's just let it dry for a second. Um, in the meantime... Well, I would like to do the face, or finish with the face. I should have started with the face now that I think about this. I probably need more. Okay, here. And I hope you really like... Um, how this bear is turning out. Um, okay. So here we go. And like I said, um, I feel like these little bear is so cute, you know. It can go for baby cars. I mean, it could go for anything. So let us dry a little bit. Um, because if you see my sample, and by the way, here's a sample. If you see the sample, I'm also doing cheeks on this one. But anyway, like I said, this is not my original idea. I, I cased this one from another fellow that was that is in United Kingdom. Her name is Liz Julie, I believe. 
I hope I'm saying her name right. But like I said, I love that you put this little guy and it has the back as well. So I don't know. I just feel like it's really cute. So I feel like if I post how to do it, everyone is going to be asking, well, how do you really want a color? And I don't want anyone to feel intimidated because it's really very easy. Um, so anyway, I feel like, all right, so it's, it's dry and you can see I'm just cleaning my, my brush and I'm going to be using, what is this, Blushing Bright and let's just do the cheeks and um, I'll do cheeks here. And you can tell it's really simple. You don't really have to do much about it. And then remove the color and then do that. You know, like, that's it. So, I don't know if you can tell. I probably will put a little bit more because it feels like the brown is hitting it. And I really want everyone to see their cheeks there. Here it is. There it is. Here we go. Oh, look, that looks better. See that? Very simple. Very easy. Okay. So that's pretty much it with the with this one. Um, the next thing that you would probably have to do is you're gonna fold it. And the big thing here is make sure that you are lining up those little guys, uh, like both pieces. And um, I want to say that I did end up cutting the this part because again I'm not using this as a tag although you could use it as a tag I feel like this will be really gorgeous as a tag on a gift but um you don't have to use it as a gift tag like I'm saying I'm using it for a car so I'm just gonna cut in a little bit here just said it looks more like its ears are round and here you go and then finally, um, I'm going to be coloring with just a regular marker on the B. And um, I'm using the Crush Curry. And I'm doing the middle side of that B. And then I'm going to be coloring using the black marker the other ends. And I'll show you it. I'll put, oh, and one more other thing. If you look at it, I did the black. I'm going to be also coloring its nose because I feel like it needs to be like really, really dark. And there you go. Now, the last thing that I would think it needs is putting a wink of Estella on the wings of that bee. And I feel like that will pretty much be it, really, because that's, that's everything I did on mine. So, hope you like it. Uh, here it is. It's very simple. And like I said, very easy. Um, don't get intimidated by the watercoloring. Again, it's so simple to do it. And um, here's another sample of another one that I made. Now, this one is using gray or smoking slate blush um blushing bright on the ears as well as the cheeks i'd always try to put cheeks on my little uh crick crickers crick critters and the same with this one on this one i actually use a uh, crush curry and a little bit of the stuff suede on top of the crush curry so that it's not too bright and then the hair and a little bit more on the tail, it was just so sweet. And then you can tell on the back the same thing. Now, one tip you get to see on this one. One tip is be careful on how you're cutting it. And this one is a perfect example. You can tell that on this one, it kind of moved because there's not a white area on its back. You see how there's more white on this end on, than in this one. So just do be careful when you're doing it. I mean, there's nothing major when I put it in the car. I don't think anyone will notice, but I know it's bugging me because I know about it. Um, but I'm sure the recipient will know, even know about it. And let me show you again the card. This is the card that I did. And again, it's not my idea. I case it from another fellow demonstrator in the United Kingdom. Uh, her name is um, Liz Julie Jewel, I think it's her name. I, 
I'm pretty sure I'm saying wrong her last name, but anyway, uh, she came up with really sweet cards about this, and I felt like I needed to to do my version of it, and I mean, I'm just in love with it, and of course, I love bears, so I needed to to do the bear, and I needed to show how to do the bear, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing another one of these. Um, so I hope you like it. It was a really quick uh, Facebook share, and again, it is the A Little Wild, and it comes in a bundle, or you can purchase a bundle, and it comes with this um, Little Love's frame list on the bundle. So when you do the bundle, you save a 10%. I'll put a um, link to all the products that I use um, if you're interested. And so anyway, so I hope you have liking it, and um, do post your your samples if you if you give it a try to the watercoloring okay so thank you so much and we'll see you soon bye